storms are on the way, and we're on your side with team coverage this morning. Let's start by sending it over now to meteorologist Deidre Tate, who is in for Jeremy Wheeler today. Deidre, everyone, of course, wants to know about that depression that is right off the coast. Yeah, definitely bears watching uh, with this system. Two things working against it, wind shear and some dry air, but it is expected to try to muster up a little bit of strength and become a tropical storm over the next day or so. What we're looking at is water vapor imagery, shows moisture in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. Thunderstorm activity is to the west of the core of the system, so it is dealing with some dry air being ingested into it. Plus, if you notice the cloud tops, they're kind of being rushed to the north and west. That's affiliated with this broad upper level low that's spinning and it's giving it some wind shear as well. So again, conditions are not ideal per se for it to further organize, but as of the last advisory, it had a max of same winds of 35 miles per hour moving slowly towards the west northwest at 10, and it is expected to make its way towards the coast, possibly as a tropical storm as we work our way into tomorrow. Stay tuned. I'll have a complete look at the track. We'll Talk about the local impacts as well that's coming up. Deitra, thank you. And we have team coverage as we continue to track the tropics. Lifeguards are keeping an eye on the Atlantic as winds pick up at the Virginia Beach Ocean Front. Red flag warnings are already in place and more restrictions may follow, especially as the hurricane season ramps up. Rico Bush is live at the ocean front with the latest information. Rico, good morning. Good morning, Deanna and Katie. Officials say as the threat of that tropical depression looms, we may see some strong rip current, which may make swimming a major problem here at the ocean front. While lifeguards aren't too worried just yet, they say those conditions may get worse in the coming days. The head of life saving services, Tom Gill, and his team say they have already noticed a change in the weather conditions. Lifeguards restricted swimming at the ocean front yesterday. They told swimmers they could only go waist deep into the water. Officials say lifeguards had to rescue five people from the ocean yesterday because of those strong rip currents. When, when you've got a tropical depression, we've got a big low pressure. We've got big surf coming in. Um, the rip currents can be so big they can pull somebody out in just seconds. Gill says they expect more restrictive swimming days as hurricane season ramps up. They may also, uh, there may also be no swimming at all this week because of that storm. Now, right now, you may be able to hear and see some of that wind as, as it is picking up here at the ocean front. That is what you're going to feel if you are out here in Virginia Beach. But officials say if you do see those red flags, so make sure you're staying near the shoreline. That's the latest here from Virginia Beach. I'm Rico Bush, 10 on your side. Rico, thank you. And North Carolina officials want to make sure that people are prepared for the potential for strong storms. North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory sent out a statement that says, in part, these tropical systems can pack a powerful punch. Those who are prepared ahead of time will fare better. Public Safety Secretary Frank Perry says the state will work with local officials to make sure they have what they need as well. Stay with Wavy News 10 throughout the day today as we track these storms. And remember, you can find all the updates, of course, on our weather app. It is free for all Apple and Android users. It is super simple to use.